Many people are convinced that dolphins, being creatures of high intelligence, want to be friends with Homo sapiens supposedly similar to them. Supposedly, at the first opportunity, they rush to establish contact, help in a difficult situation, and heal. And in general, if you give them the internet, they will spam the entire PM with their likes and good-natured messages. However, this special connection between humans and dolphins is actually a myth. All the talk about the mammal being well-tuned to humans is just stories inspired by films and various programs. In fact, dolphins are not eager to help anyone. They are often aggressive and generally no better than a pack of stray dogs. They also account for more human lives than sharks. Don't believe me? Then see for yourself. And here is another thing we almost forgot. What if we tell you that, among other things, they are drug addicts and they also have a sexual attraction to a human being? Only today on our channel we give an answer to a simple question why. Why are dolphins not as friendly and cute as we previously thought? If your morale is higher than that of dolphins, then subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments. Of course, dolphins may be friendly, but there is also a dark side to them that will make your hair stand on end. So let's start with the simplest – animal instincts. Dolphins themselves are not evil, but you must always remember that they are wild animals and are guided by instincts. These mammals are very fond of playing and in the process can either push a person to the shore or drown him. Often there are cases when a flock of dolphins plays with a bather like a ball, throwing it from nose to nose. As a result, a person receives numerous fractures and rarely finds the strength to get to the shore and call for help. The fact is that technically it doesn't seem to kill a person, it only keeps it underwater for too long, then the victim dies herself. There are several known cases when these animals bit people during feeding. Most likely, they simply confuse the outstretched hand with a live fish, but this is just an assumption. The most famous incident occurred at the SeaWorld Amusement Park in Florida, USA. There, the dolphin bit the hand of a girl who was feeding him, causing a harmless but painful injury. Eight-year-old Jillian Thomas was feeding a dolphin with fish from a paper bag standing next to her parents. At one point, the child sharply raised his hand and the dolphin dug its teeth into her forearm. And for you to understand, dolphins will not save swimmers from sharks. Alas, but this is a real life, not a movie. Sharks themselves prefer to swim away if they see a dolphin because they know that they have a strong and dangerous rival in front of them. It is better to try their luck somewhere else. Things are much worse if the dolphin's rival is a human. This can happen if a flock of dolphin is hunting a fish and the swimmer is in the middle of these fish. In this case, the unfortunate person is pushed far into the open sea away from the fish and it is almost impossible to return there since after a while a shark will most likely find you. And if the shark does not find you, then you will simply be exhausted and drown, and no dolphin will drag you to the shore as shown in the films. On your back. So all you have to do is come out and lay on your back behind the dolphin. Please take the fins off and only put the feet. Dolphins are one of the few animals along which you can find homosexual and bisexual relationships. These inhabitants of the seas and oceans are quite sexually active and can show interest not only in their own kind, but also in other animals, objects, and even people. A dolphin will not be able to rape a person, but accidentally drowning him trying to jump on him for carnal pleasures is absolutely no problem. Scientists noted that it is customary to rape females in flocks and sometimes two to three males take part in the process. They surround the victim and chase her until she is exhausted. 
The female can be held for up to several weeks, forcing her with threatening gestures and aggressive sounds. Well-known marine mammal researcher Georgia Cranmer wrote that dolphins can try to have sex with anything, even a pool drain. In general, the behavior of some dolphins can be compared to a criminal gang. They have internal showdowns, mainly in the struggle for females. Adult dolphins sometimes kill their newborn babies. Researchers in Brazil watched dolphins move around the bay. One morning, scientists saw a group of six adult male dolphins approach a female with a newborn baby. Two males separated the mother and the baby, after which four other dolphins tightly surrounded the female and did not allow her to approach the baby. Trying to save the offspring, the mother turned over on her back, showing the males a defenseless belly. This is a demonstration of passive behavior and a signal that the female is ready to mate. But the kid still could not be saved. He was held underwater, not letting him breathe, and they also threw him like a volleyball. These males deliberately separated the newborn from the mother in order to mate with the female again and again. Also, dolphins eat toxic puffer fish on purpose just to get high. And there is nothing funny about that. Experts believe that the toxin secreted by puffer fish can have an intoxicating or narcotic effect on dolphins, which literally puts them into a trance state. More recently, a group of brown dolphins off the coast of Australia was found circling a puffer fish in an attempt to get drunk. Krista Nicholson, a research scientist, found that young dolphins love to keep puffer fish in their mouths, chew them for several hours, and then spit them out, passing the puffer to other dolphins. It looks like they're doing it to get some kind of narcotic effect. Puffer fish contains a toxin called tetrodotoxin, which is extremely dangerous and even fatal to humans. However, scientists believe that small doses of this toxin can put dolphins into a trance. This phenomena, of course, was not the first time. Something like this has been observed before. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The muzzle of most dolphin species is designed so that the lower jaw protrudes forward. Because of this, it seems that the animal is smiling kindly all the time. This is not so. Although dolphins can be happy and sad, they do not possess human facial expressions. A dolphin attacking a man will smile as sweetly as the one that entertains visitors in the dolphinarium. And may all dolphin fans forgive me, but these mammals have no signs of an outstanding intelligence. Yes, they are trainable, but nothing more. In captivity they are able to learn some ways to communicate with people, but all their zeal is explained by natural curiosity. As soon as curiosity ends, then nature comes into play. Summing up, it is worth saying that trained dolphins are controllable and make contact. But this is completely inapplicable for wild animals. There are many cases of dolphins attacking humans. Incest, infanticide, rape. And we continue to consider dolphins not only smart, but also kind creatures. Perhaps you shouldn't be too happy when you see a flock of dolphins swimming past you. Quite possibly these guys are in a rush to gang rape. Have you ever thought that these smart and kind cute dolphins are actually quite dangerous and aggressive? Now you know the truth. And this is where we end this issue. We hope you liked it and you will share this video also with your friends. Let them also be in the know. Well, we do not say goodbye, but see you soon.